can't stand someone who fear mongers. It's the politics fix. <laughs> What up, my sippers and stoners? It's Miana DK checking in once again, and I'm here with another politics fix. Now, today I want to talk about the coronavirus, okay? Now, there is much to be said about this virus. There are 82,000 new cases around the world, um, 52 fatalities around the world, um, and if you believe our president, there are only 15 cases in the United States. So here's what's true. There are definitely over 200 cases in the United States, all across the United States. Um, and now there are some cases and they don't know the origin. It was, you know, I don't know. So, um, he is going out of his way to make light of an important situation. Now, I don't want to make it seem like there's no reason to be concerned, but I also don't want to fear monger because when I look at the symptoms of the coronavirus is a lot similar to, uh, what a common flu is. And we all know that we have lost hundreds of people to the flu and so far, uh, the younger you are, the more immune you are to the coronavirus, which is probably why they're making such a big deal about it because the people that are affected are like in your 60s and up. And we all know that big corporate media and the world are controlled by 60 and up year old white men, okay? So they're afraid, that means I guess we all have to be afraid. And from what I've learned in the research that I've gathered, black people, the melanin, the genes that we have do make us not immune from the virus, but we are not affected by the by the virus. Um, we are affected by the virus at less than 2%. And while I am not saying that this is not a big thing, um, there were other viruses that are that were bigger and they were handled. And so I am not about to fear monger and make it seem like we have to all go around wearing masks. Um, yeah. But I will say this, our president has dropped the ball on in several different ways, defunding the CDC, um, defunding the, the types of places that have programs to protect us. Like if he did not underfund the CDC and he did not uh, remove uh, important key people uh, from places of power, uh, we might be able to have a jump on this. Even they're saying they don't know if the cure is going to be affordable for all Americans. Are you kidding me? So first, you didn't prepare us to be uh, in this thing, and now you're only going to make it to where people who are financially um, affluent will be able to be healed from the, the disease, really? That's what you're doing? Okay. Well, in my opinion, yes, this should not be politicized, but yes, it is also showing the hypocrisy of this administration and the lack of empathy that they have for people that are not like them. And that's really all I have to say about the coronavirus. <laughs> if there's anything that I missed, if there's any facts that you don't think that I have straight that you disagree with, drop a comment down below. If there's anything that you want me to talk about that you haven't heard me talk about yet, drop a comment down below or slide it in my inbox and I'd be happy to address it for you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to share. Hit that notification bell. That way you know every time I upload a video. Um, in the meantime, I'm Yana DK and this has been The Politics Fix. I love y'all. I swear I do. This is the ending of my video. <laughs> oh, thank y'all for watching.